Go. Thank you for introducing me to the gathering. I'm Bharay Bhutta, a graduate of the Technological Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program. I welcome all the esteemed guests, parents, and my fellow graduates to the graduation ceremony. Exactly a year and a day ago, we started this endeavor with our orientation. It has been a wonderful year of learning, exposure, and intellectual evolution. We have convened here to celebrate the past year that has changed the way we look at things. I will talk about three major aspects of the class of 2015 and the experiences we shared together. The first thing I noticed when we started was the diversity of the class. It was as if the different shades of fall had come together to make a beautiful scenery which was this past year. The diversity made learning a culturally refreshing experience. This boosted my confidence to deal better with different cultures in the fast-paced and diverse American community. The classes were always filled with people of wide range of nationalities and specializations. This added significant value to the standards of participation in and out of the class. I believe that we are all on the verge of being global citizens. Maybe we already are. The education at Northeastern has given me the required exposure and confidence to be a global citizen myself. Over the past year, there were a few pivotal moments of growth that made us what we are today. The first semester of the, the first semester passed in no time with all of us trying to know each other. Just when we thought we were going to have fun, there came snowstorms, which made a mess of our schedules. Many of our classes were cancelled and Monday's classes became a long distance relationship. In fact, we did learn a lot from, long, from Monday's classes, which is how to be patient with an investor who ignores you. That semester, we had to finish four courses, including a prototype, a full business plan, and two presentations in a span of 14 weeks riddled with snowstorms. In spite of the snowstorms and the time constraint, all of us came up with really good ideas, all of which amazed me. We faced, it with we faced it with resolve and performed excellently. If you thought that was tough, wait till you hear about our summer semester. We finished three courses in seven weeks. It is no simple feat checking through a myriad of financial articles and attending three four-hour classes per week. This is not to complain, but in retrospect, we are better for the difficulties we faced. We learned not to lose focus on the most important goal, which was to learn and evolve. I would also like to talk about the rough path of entrepreneurship that we have taken. Lori Greiner, an entrepreneur herself, quoted, Entrepreneurs are willing to work 80 hours a week to avoid working 40 hours a week. This aptly puts into words the nature of the task that we have taken up. It is 80 hours of what we want to do for our own dreams, rather than 40 hours of work for someone else's dreams. This path is foggy and a crooked one. It is foggy because you, what you think you want right now will not be what you want later. It is crooked because where you intend to go and where you actually end up are worlds apart. We have traveled across the earth from our homes to be here in Boston. Luckily for us, this program at Northeastern University is not just about teaching entrepreneurship. It is more than that. It enables us to get up on our feet and act on our ideas. The difference this has made can only be realized when we are at difficult crossroads later in our life. A number of nations have been built upon the foundations laid by entrepreneurs. It is upon us to carry forward this baton and create value for mankind. The only thing certain about our paths is that we will be faced with tough choices. APJ Abdul Kalam, recently deceased former president of India quotes, all birds find shelter during a rain, but the eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds. Problems exist for everyone, but perspectives are different. Attitude matters. I wish that we have an open mind to look at the world in a different perspective, even in times of distress. I wish that all the hurdles you face bow to your resilience and perseverance. And yeah, don't forget to make money. Finally, I would like to thank all the people that made this journey possible. I thank our parents and siblings who built our foundations to be strong. I'm grateful of our previous teachers who who molded us to be open to the knowledge we had a chance to learn at Northeastern. I'm very grateful for the professors who taught me at Northeastern. They tested our determination only to make us stronger. Their words were full of wisdom and their experiences are textbooks. I'm also thankful to Northeastern University for bringing together the amazing resources to make this possible. I'm very grateful to our advisor Sandra who has been immensely helpful and guided us through the decisions of the course. 
I thank my class for being the medium through which I have been tempered and hardened. I thank my mom for being patient and supportive. I thank my friends Priyanka and Tathagat for their support throughout the journey. I am grateful to Rebecca Govoni for being a good friend. I thank all the guests and audience for listening to me. I hope that you find success in your future endeavors. Godspeed.